Ay kel Angelo di Lodo Pico Bionarotti Simoni, known as Michael Angelo, was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. He was born on March 6, 1475, and died on February 18, 1564. Michael Angelo was born in the Republic of Florence in the small town of Caprese in Michael Angelo, Italy. Michael Angelo is active in the year 1475 to 1564. As we all know that Michael Angelo is known for his art, what kind of art style does he make? Like many of the Renaissance masters, Michael Angelo was an artist who worked with different art forms. Although he primarily considered himself a sculptor, he created some greatest fresco paintings and architecture the world has ever seen. At the young age of 13, when Michelangelo was working in Brillante Studio, he learned the technique of painting frescoes and always said he preferred to work with this rather than oil paints. In his frescoes, Michelangelo never created these forms with a soft focus and believed it, it was more important to create figures with clear outlines which was Florentine tradition. His mother died when he was six years old and his father did not approve of his no! interest in art. Michael Angelo learned from and was inspired by the scholars and writers in Lorenzo's intellectual circle, and his later work would be forever be informed by what he learned about philosophy and politics in those years. At 13 years old, Michael Angelo was apprenticed to painter Dominico Gerlandiao, particularly known for his murals. A year later, his, his talent drew the attention of Florence's leading citizen and art patron Lorenzo de Angelis, who enjoyed the intellectual stimulation of being surrounded by the city's most famous literary, poetic, and talent. How did his career look like? Michael Angelo's fame in his lifetime was that his career was more fully documented than that of any artist of the time or earlier. He was the first Western artist whose biography was published while he was alive in Park. There were two rival biographies. The first was the final chapter in the series of Artists' Lives 1550 by the painter and architect Giorgio Vesali. It was the only chapter on living artists and explicitly presented Michael Angelo's works as the culminating perfection of art, surpassing the effort of all those before him this fight. Such an encomium Michelangelo was not entirely pleased and arranged for his assistant Ascanio Condibi to write a brief separate book 1553, probably based on artists' own spoken comment this account show him as he wished to appear. After Michael Angelo's death, Basari in a second edition, 1568, offered a rebuttal, while scholars have often prepared an authority of of Conde B. Basari's lively writing the importance of his book as a whole and his frequent reprinting in many languages have made it the most useful basis of popular ideas on Michael Angelo and other Renaissance artists. But what he did do before dying, after he left Florence permanently in 1534 for Rome, Michael Angelo also wrote many lyrical letters to his family members who remained there. The theme of many ways is very strong attachment to various young men, especially aristocrat Tommaso Cavalier. Michelangelo died at age 88 after a short illness in 1564, surviving for the usual life expectancy of the year. Now that we know his history, should we know what is his five famous artwork in the history is? Creation of Adam. What is the history of creation of Adams? Michelangelo decided to represent the divine breath of life with gods and Adam's finger almost touching each other. This famous gesture represents the creation of the first man with the greater index ready to strike a spark upon contact with Adam's hand. So what is the perspective of the Last Judgment? The Last Judgment, according to the Bible, the Last Judgment of all people who live on earth is an important aspect of the Christian religion. It is described as a moment in 
which all people will come to life and the good people will be rewarded by going to heaven and the evil go people will go to hell. We can find this artwork at the Creation Pattern and the last search will have to publish. The most famous fresco in the Sistan Chapel and one of the most famous in modern art was created by Michelangelo around 1511 and is located in the ceiling of the Sistan Chapel inside the Vatican Museums. Moses the work represents a specific moment from the biblical tale of Moses when he sees his people have started worshipping a pagan icon, the golden calf, just after he had trekked all the way down Mount Sinai with heavy stones love bearing the Ten Commandments. Needless to say, Moses was peace, and it's precisely this injury that Michelangelo skillfully embodies in his eight-foot seated sculpture. Moses is just sitting down though. His left leg and hip shift left while his muscular torso face the right, imbuing the figure with tension and power. Although he looks left, his beard whips right, indicating swift movement. The sculpture can be viewed at the church of San Pietro in Vincoli, Rome. David David is a sculpture produced by Michelangelo di Lodovico Bonarati Simoni between 1501 and 1504. This sculpture was regarded as one of the famous sculptures of Renaissance. This sculpture can be viewed at Accademia di Belle Arti di Firenze in Florence, Italy. The Dying Slave The Dying Slave is a marble sculpture produced by Michelangelo between 1513 and 1516. It was produced to serve with another figure, the rebellious slave, at the tomb of Pope Julius II. This marble sculpture can be viewed at the Louvre in Paris. Here are the four fun facts about Michelangelo. Number one, he sculpted the David from a discarded block of marble. Michelangelo was particular about the marble he used for his sculptures, known as the giant, the massive slab used to sculpt the David had been wired nearly 40 years earlier for a series of sculptures. Eventually abandoned for the Florence Cathedral, it had deteriorated and grown rough after years of exposure to the elements, and by the time Michelangelo began working with it in 1501, it already bore the chisel marks of more than one frustrated sculpture. Number 2 Michelangelo began his career as an art forger in 1496, Michelangelo made a sleeping cupid figure and treated it with acetic earth to make it seem ancient. He then sold it to a dealer who in turn sold it to Cardinal Ria Rio of San Giorgio. Ria, Ria Rio later heard rumors of the scam and got his money back, but he was so impressed by my, Michelangelo's skill that he invited him to Rome for a meeting. The young sculptor would linger in Rome for the next several years, eventually winning a competition to carve the Fiata, the work that first made his name as an artist. Number 3 His great work at the Sistine Chapel may have never come to be envy is an awful thing, but in Michelangelo's case, his enemies led him to his greatest work. Renaissance painters, including Raphael, convinced Pope Julius to hire Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel in an effort to sabotage his career. Keep in mind that Michael, Michelangelo at this time was considered to be the best sculptor, but at the time Michelangelo nearly didn't accept the job, but eventually it took him four years to paint lying on a scaffolding, but he created one of the most magnificent masterpieces ever created. As a teen, Michelangelo was sent to live and study in the home of Lorenzo de Medici, then one of the most important art patrons in all of Europe. His steady hands with a chisel and paintbrush soon made him the envy of 
all his fellow pupils, one of young rival named Pietro Trigano, grew so enraged at Michelangelo's superior talent and perhaps also his sharp tongue that he walloped him in the nose leaving it permanently smashed and defigured I gave him such a blow one of nose that I felt bone and cartilage go down like biscuit beneath my knuckles Toriagano later bridge and his mark of mine he will carry with him to the grave Thank you for watching our video. Hope you learned many things about the life and the history of Michelangelo. Goodbye and have a great time. This video is presented by Group 4.